Hey everyone, Gareth at QCT here. Uh, today's video is going to be a, a walkthrough of how to install the Datto RMM, that's a remote management and monitoring tool, um, onto a Mac device. So we uh, internally, we use uh, the, the Datto RMM tool to make sure that we can manage and monitor all of the devices that we look after, uh, you know, keep things up to date and uh, provide remote support. Um, and sometimes we need help from the end user to actually get that installed if it's a a device that we can't get physical access to to do the installation ourselves. So uh, yeah, so this video is going to just go through how to do that with you. So we'll uh, switch across to this view here. So you can see here we have my uh, Mac uh, mail open and this has got my email open and here there's a, there's a beautiful email from Quietly Confident Technologies, cracking company. Love their work. Uh, so it says we need some help for me to get the uh, software installed. Um, I'm going to just draw attention to this. Please note that you should not normally click on links in emails to download and install software. Obviously, normally, I would be advising this is a very, very bad thing to do. And if you get an email that looks like this, you should not do anything with it. Um, maybe call us so that we can check it out. Um, so what I've just said is that if, you, if you've received this email and you have any kind of suspicion at all that that is not legitimate please give us a call i'd rather have that call than uh, the call that says i clicked on a link in an email and now all of our drives are encrypted and i've just transferred thousands of pounds of the company's money somewhere else uh, so if you're ever unsure about clicking links in emails even in the slightest don't do it ring verify confirm um also there will be a, there will be a helpful handy phone number at the bottom of this email don't use that email don't use that phone number use the ones that you've already got because if i'm a spammer uh, or a, some sort of hacker or a phishing uh, person uh, the details at the bottom of this email are not going to be the legitimate details for the company i am claiming to be from they're going to be my phone number or my details or just invalid details so always use the records that you have on file that that's the security thing done and out of the way so um Obviously, I am currently making the video that I'm referring to in this email, but um, if you did click on the uh, click on that link there, that would take you to our YouTube channel. And from there, you would be able to search for this video. And I clearly haven't signed into YouTube on here. So once you're here, you can use the little search box here which will search just the QCT channel. Uh, obviously, I can't search for the video now because I haven't actually made it yet, so I can't search for it because it's not there. You understand what I mean? So, watch the video through, uh, this video, and this will tell you how to do the next steps. So we're going to just click on the link here to download the program. Now, my default for my Mac is Chrome. Uh, obviously, you could download this in Safari as well. The steps are slightly different, but once it's downloaded, we're going to show in Finder. So that's downloaded, uh, and you can see that we have a uh, zipped archive. So we're just going to double click on that. And that will expand it, and it'll take the files out of the zip and it'll give them give you access to them. Um, again, depending on exactly how you have things set up, you might be able to click on the little arrow there, or it might be the case that you have to double click on that folder to open it. But you'll then see that there's a package there that we can run, a PKG file. So again, we're gonna just double click that, and that will start the installer. We're going to say, continue. The destination should be automatically selected, but if you need to, you can just click on the, if you have multiple disks, then you can click on the disk that you want it installed to. And continue. I would leave everything else standard. Uh, you need to put your password in here, obviously. I'm hoping you know what your password is. Okay, the installer would like to access your downloads, so we're going to say, yep, that's fine. Mm -hmm. 
and there we go. So that's that first bit done. Um, we're going to say OK to that again. Um, it's now saying, do you want to get rid of this program? We can move that to the bin. Let's keep everything tidy. Um, but actually, what we what we then really need to do is just go back to your downloads folder, and we'll just drag this down to the bin, and we'll also drag the zip down to the bin as well, just to keep everything tidy. Okay, so that's the main part of the installation done now. Um, what we now just need to go through and do is we need to change some of the uh, security settings. Um, so if I just take you across to the uh, to the console here, it's just so you can see there's two Windows computers here, one's a desktop and one's a laptop, and there's the MacBook Air that we've just added. Now, for me to remotely control this, I would normally click on this button here, and that will then, after a few seconds, connect me up to the Mac. However, because of the security on the Mac, I can't actually do anything. So it's giving me this page, which is the background wallpaper on my machine, um, but I can't click on anything, I can't do anything, I can't see any of the dialog boxes that are up on the screen. So to sort that out, we're gonna switch back across to the Mac in a second, and I'll just go through what we need to do to fix that. Okay, so we are back looking at the uh, the Mac desktop here. Uh, so what we need to do to, uh, to make all of this work properly now, just the last couple of steps, is we go to the Apple menu there and System Preferences. We then need to find Security and Privacy, uh, which we could do just by single clicking there, or we could search it up there if you're struggling to find it. We're going to need to change things on this page. So we need to click on the padlock down here, which will drop a little message box up asking us for our password. There's password in. And couple of ticks and we're there. So the first tick is in the accessibility section just there and it's AEM agent. And then if we scroll down, just two fingers on the trackpad to screen recording, we also need to turn on AEM agent there. Now this is going to pop a message up uh, that says that it can't work until it's been quit. Just say later. That's absolutely fine. We will then lock that back up again back on there, close that, and we are all done. So now that that's all installed, uh, I'm just going to uh, jump back across here, just uh, quickly show you what I see from my end. So um, we're going to select Web Remote on my MacBook Air. I'm going to click that. It takes a few seconds to connect up, but it will then show me what's on the, on the desktop of the Mac. Okay, so you can see here that we've got um, Safari open. Um, so now that I'm able to get onto here, I can click on things, I can do things, um, I can remotely control the computer, and this allows me to then help you out if you are having troubles, or if there's something that's wrong with the machine that I know about, it allows me to remote in and, and resolve that for you. So uh, that's all working beautifully. There we go. So if um, if we ever need you to install software, this is the uh, these are the steps that you need to go to do it. Um, we would normally have sent you the link to download via an email. Um, it is possible that we might have got that to you a different way. Um, but uh, just to reiterate what I said at the start, really, if you are unsure at all, even in the slightest, do not click on links in emails. Give us a bell. Use the phone number you've already got for us, not the phone number at the bottom of the email, because that could be rubbish. Um, but yeah, but hopefully, uh, if the email you're getting is, is from us, give us a call. It'll be legit. Um, you can then follow this video to, uh, to get that software installed so that we can uh, jump on and give you some remote assistance. Um, I've been Gareth Westwood. Thank you very much for uh, watching and listening. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.